It's a Boninus Friday video. <laughs> Welcome to the Boninus Friday video. Why do I call it the Boninus Friday video? Because you can't spell Boninus without S, B, or 9. And that's what we're going to talk about today. SB9. We've talked a lot about Senate Bill 9 in the past. In fact, here's a flashback clip of flashback clips. And the thinking behind this bill is fantastic. It levels the playing fields for New Mexico businesses. Especially SB9. It was the bill that closed a tax loophole that lets out-of-state corporations avoid paying income tax. So we all know that the governor vetoed the bill, but um, there was a lot of other things that happened in and around the bill's journey through the legislative session. This mailer went out recently talking about SB9. But it also talks about Senator Phil Griego's role in it all. Let's go to the chart. This year wasn't the first time that a combined reporting, but really it should be called a level the playing field, out-of-state corporations paying their fair share of in-state taxes bill, um, was introduced. It was actually like the 500 billion bajillionth time. Um, this chart starts in 2009, and in that year, Senator Grigo oversaw the tabling of the legislation, so it didn't even get a chance to pass. Then, in 2010, same thing. Also, the same thing happened in 2011. Then this year, things went a little, and I do mean just a little, differently. So when the bill was in committee, Senator Griego worked to once again get the bill tabled. Once it looked like it was going to pass, he did a thing where it would limit the power of the bill. It was after all of that that he finally did vote for it to pass on the Senate floor, and well, even after all that, the bill got vetoed. So that's what the mailer talks about, but in a whole lot less words. This little mailer has been getting a lot of attention lately. In fact, it was even in the journal this past week, on the front page. Fancy. The mailer has a contact number for Senator Griego, so I thought we'd just go ahead and, um, you know, give him a call. Hello? Hi, can I speak to Senator Griego? Hi, Senator Griego. Uh, my name is uh, Sarah Kennedy, and I do uh, YouTube videos on issues in New Mexico. And I'm. It, it's a, I'm sorry. What? Oh, I'll slow down. I'm sorry. I'm just so excited you answered. Um, so my name is Sarah Kennedy, and I do uh, internet videos on issues in New Mexico. Uh -huh. And I do them in association with the Center for Civic Policy. And I'm doing one right now on the history of Senate Bill 9, and I wanted to see if you'd talk to me about your history with combined reporting. And also, uh, since this is part of a video, I was going to record the conversation so that you could be included. Is that okay? Well, listen, I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a meeting right now. Can I call you back? Yes, absolutely. Okay. All right. Thank you. like a date and you won't call me back for three days. Call me back. New Mexico is the last western state that still has this loophole for out-of-state corporations going on. And now that it's been vetoed, we have to wait a whole nother year before we can take a stab at giving New Mexican small businesses a fair shot. So yeah, that was the Boninus video for today. Just wanted to catch you all up to speed on what's been going on. I will see you guys all on Wednesday.